In this video, we are going to learn about another networking device, which is the switch. You can see an image here where this is actually the switch and all the computer devices, com network devices are connected through this cable. So let's see what actually happens in a switch. Now the devices are connected through twisted pair cables, copper cables. Okay. The switch will use a packet switching technique like a router. It will receive it, it will store it and then it will forward it. Unlike a router, it is not using any table to do that. In addition to the storage and forwarding, what it does is it detects for any collision error that has occurred. So when the data has traveled from node 1 to node 2, if any collision has occurred on the way, then it will have an error message or garbled message. So what the switch essentially does is it sends back an information to the previous router or switch from which it has received the message and tells it to resend that data. So this is how it is superior to the router. Another difference between the router and the switch is that data is transmitted in full duplex mode. If you remember in a previous video, we have learned that full duplex mode means the data can be transmitted in both the directions forward and backward using the same data cable at the same time simultaneously. What this does is that the data transmission speed is double to that of other network devices. So if the speed is say S, if the router is being used or a hub is being used, then the speed here will be 2S if the switch is being used. So in this video, we have learned how a switch functions and how it is better than a router or a hub. In our next video, we are going to understand how a gateway works.